Are you ready for your window shoppers to become paying customers? Equity Commerce is here to make that happen. We can help you automatically show the exact product visitors saw but didn't purchase on your site wherever they go on Facebook and Instagram using this magic called dynamic Facebook retargeting. To show these ads to your prospects today, sign up in your Equid Control Panel in the Marketing section and look for the Facebook Remarketing app. This is fully integrated into Equid and Facebook and so simple and effective you'll wonder why you hadn't done this sooner. Okay, back to the show. This is the Equid E-Commerce Show with your host, Jesse Ness, along with Richard Ote. Richie, happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's back again. Yeah. It's flying by. Podcast. I think this is episode number 34, I believe. Could correct me if I'm wrong if no, we change that. But yeah, man, we got 34 <laughs> episodes in our belt. Yeah, good stuff. And I'm, I'm super excited. I always love getting to talk to merchants. And yeah. today we got another one. That's yeah, this stuff. is this is a highlight for us because we are entrepreneurs and dreamers and we love talking to people that are also working on their dream. So, um, you know, yeah, we got we have to do more of these. Yeah, good stuff. And and to all the other Equid users out there, remember you too can put a spotlight on your business. You can get on this show if you go to Equid forward slash Equid.com. Equ- sorry, yeah. Equid.com forward slash podcast. And at the bottom of the page, there'll be a form where uh, you two can get on the show and highlight how you got started, what you're doing, what you're up to. And we'll be more than happy to, to push it out to all the other merchants and Apple iTunes and all the good stuff so everyone can learn about your business. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get this started. Yeah. All right. So let's bring on our guest, Akila Nisa. Are you there? I am. Hi, and guys. We're, we Hi, Akila. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank and, you. And how did I do on the last name? Give, me, give us the proper pronunciation here. Oh, actually, that's my middle name. Oh. Akila Nisa. Yeah. Um, my last name is Scott Amos. I'm hyphenated. All right. I'll write this down now so I can put it in our show notes there. But Akila, it's great to meet you. So uh, there's an interesting title. What, what do you call your, the title of your job? I just call myself a creator. Awesome. Um, only because I feel like that encompasses everything that I have to do. I create my products. I've created my website. I create uh, marketing, HR. I create it all. So creator is all-encompassing. Awesome. I love the word creator. <laughs> I think that really describes you well. So uh, now what do you, as far as your business, what, what do you do for a business? Um, for a business, I'm an herbalist. So a lot of people is like, what does that mean? And it pretty much means that I heal skin. That's my specialty. I'm very good at it. Um, I, I really don't do anything internal. Plenty of herbalists, uh, you know, that, that people like to ask, you know, oh, I'm having high blood pressure or this and that. I don't, I don't mess with that. <laughs> yeah. I mess with skin. I love skin and I want to heal skin and I'm good at that. So I just stick with what I'm good at. It's the biggest organ on the body. So you, you're still yes. doing it. <laughs> yes. And everyone's potentially a customer too. Everyone has skin. So <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And that is exactly what I tell people when I'm doing vendor events. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it makes sense. Oh, that's great. We'll definitely get into that too, because not only do you do the e-commerce store, but it sounds like you get out and take it from the online world to the offline world too. So we'll we'll definitely get into that as well. Cool. Yeah. So as far as like, uh, so people have skin conditions or they just want better skin, you know, um, acne or like, what are all the skin conditions and then what is the product or what is the solution that, that you have? So uh, my number one product, I should say, for skin is eczema. Okay. So I have an eczema butter cream, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, It's phenomenal for anyone with mild to moderate eczema. Um, If it is pretty severe, I have not had luck with that. I'm very honest um, with any client that comes to me. I can only do so much with plants. Sometimes you have to go uh, uh, (laughs) chemical and, you know, that's okay. Uh, But once you get it under control, you can always come back to a plant based product. And that's where I come in. Okay, awesome. And so if someone's listening right now, again, they're going to go to uh, kissedbyabee.com. And that actually brings up something that we were going to say. One of the things we also like to do, 
tips for customers and we noticed that you have the domain, but it kind of reroutes to the Equid domain. So I was going to see Jesse could almost, uh, is there a reason you have that or do you want to try to figure that out? Can we help you? You absolutely can help me. And the reason that it's like that is because I am not very uh, technological. <laughs> I've done the best that I can. Um, and and Equid is so easy. I mean, everything is so easy. But for some reason, this brain of mine, this creator brain of mine cannot grasp the concept of uh, <laughs> actually making Kiss by be the domain that it goes to. So help me. Awesome. <laughs> well, that's all right. It sounds like you could do 80% of almost anything, though. So we'll just help you with that next 20%. How about that? Oh, perfect. <laughs> Yeah, Akila, that's so that I think that's uh it's important and I wanted to bring that up because I wanted to share it with other people because I do see that um you know, I see so many Equid stores. So I see a lot of them that have the, you know, a subdomain, maybe they renamed it or maybe it's still store one two three four five at you know, dot equid dot com. So there is a there's a setting in there. It's gonna be under settings and I'm not looking at a screen right now, so I'm gonna stop right there, but I'm gonna send a link on where to do it. Or so We'll leave the how-tos for later, but just to let you know, it is very easy to change, especially if you own the kissedbyab.com domain, which we know you do. Um, yes. So, so yeah, so, so for other people listening, like, yeah, ideally you want your main domain to be the main store, and we can help you do that. We can, um, what, what you should do is talk to live chat. So go into your control panel Absolutely. and ask live chat. I, I love live chat. I've used it quite a few times, um, more so I should say when I first set up my store, mm-hmm. but it was so helpful. They were quick. I didn't have to wait a long time. And um, I didn't feel stupid. Oh. Didn't make me feel stupid. You know, <laughs> I'm pretty <Good>. sure, <laughs> you know, people ask questions and they're, you know, you're like, oh my God, this is so easy. <laughs> you know, is she really asking me this? But yeah, I didn't feel any of that. I was not intimidated. And yeah, they take, they've taken care of everything that I've had an issue with. So. Wow, that's, that's awesome. It. We're going we're gonna to use that as a quote, Akila, because, yeah, I think that's sort of an overlooked thing with Equid is that our live chat, they're, they're really awesome, actually. Like, uh, you, you know, it's 24 hours and they can pretty much – I've worked with a lot of companies out there. So, you know, for people in a, that other companies, like, I don't like it in the answer that we don't know how to do that or you're going to have to hire a developer and I think it's going to be very, very <laughs> – our, our support reps really push the limit on that. Like, they're, they'll do way more than they should be doing, but they just want to help you make it. So, um, so, so anyway. So for those that are out. listening, try to find that limit. <laughs> ask, yeah. them as, ask them as often as you want. Yeah, really push them. And uh, Lisa, support team, I'm sorry that I said that, but uh, we're going to – we want our customers to push you and, and solve I'm like, the problems. uh-oh. Is yeah. that a challenge? Oh, man, I'm, I'm getting challenge. in trouble. Hold uh, my beer. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. We won't edit, edit that out, but um, awesome. So um, so how did, you, how did you get started in this? So Kissed by a Bee, where, you, you know, like, is this a, did you go to school for this? Is this a handed down? Like, how did you get started as an herbalist? So, yeah, that story is very interesting. Um, I'm actually a third generation herbalist. So I say third generation. There is my grandmother. Uh, My company says it was established in 1918. That's when she was born. Awesome. Um, And then my father. And then there is me. So my family, I was born and raised vegetarian. Um, My mom was not a vegetarian, only my dad. And so he took care of all the cooking. He's an he's an amazing cook. He's just one of those guys that whatever he tries, he masters. We all wish we could be like that. I'm I'm definitely not like that. But he's he's just that man. Um, So we grew a a lot of what we ate. Okay. And um, so that's how I was born and raised. You, uh, yeah, you plant it, you grow it, you eat it, <laughs> you can it for over the winter. Um, and then you do the same thing again in the spring. And it was the same with my grandmother. I remember when um, we were little, you know, if we cut ourselves or if we had issues, you know, she'd break off a piece of a plant and she'd, you know, mix some stuff together. And, you know, at the time we didn't know what it was. She's like, what is she doing? <laughs> and she put it together and then, you know, she make a salve out of it and she put it on us and then magically we were healed. So everything was, yeah, that's just how it worked. And that's just how I grew up. So I kind of, 
it's yeah i just fell into it i was born into this this is yeah, yeah my destiny <laughs> wow no and, and the thing is is like that story sounds so crazy but it shouldn't be it should be like this is how humans have grown up for you know thousands of years and and why does that seem like out of the ordinary right <laughs> absolutely absolutely it right. is it's just we're we're a we're used to convenience so yeah we, that's we're why we ready have grocery to, stores you know <laughs> oh, exactly and fast food and, and now i mean i our family, same, uh, we got rid of the microwave, I think, nine years ago. And it, was, it wasn't necessarily that we were super afraid of microwaves or anything like that. I'm not trying to like freak people out. It was really more of a, if we can't wait you know, and actually sit and prepare the food with love and take the time to sit as a family, like we, we have bigger problems. So that was our kind of quick solution to... This a happy medium, like the training wheels towards, well, maybe we don't have the space to plant and grow and wait, but we do like that idea. So that was kind of our family's happy medium there is just get rid of the microwave, cook it the good old fashioned way and and uh, enjoy it with love. Oh, absolutely. I, I really like that you say that um, because I tell my clients that also because I work with my hands and I grow it from seed to finish. It's, it's all mine. And so I try to keep my mindset. I don't create if I'm not in a good headspace only because I'm touching it and my energy is going into everything that I'm creating. And there is no way I would want something negative to be put on your body. So when I create and when I plant, I do everything with love. So, the same, the same as what you yeah, said. No, that's I, great. I, that's great. A, a quick question, because uh, before we move on past the three generations, did did the rest of the family have the heavy focus on on skin as well, or did they think more internally also? And you just had did what was the reason you focused on skin? I guess it's kind of a two part two part question there. Well, I focus on skin because. Well, let's just be honest. I feel that there are a lot of people when people are in dire situations, um, when people have tumors or cancer or things like that, they look for anything for help. Mm -hmm. And I just don't feel like it's it's responsible um, of of herbalists to say, oh, well, I can I can heal this. This is what you know, I can do, you take these herbs and then, you know, the cancer is going to go away or your tumor is going to go away. There are some things that you can do, but it's definitely not. It's, I, I just don't believe in that. Um, and I would never want to give any type of false expectation. And so I, skin, yes. Internal issues like that, no. And I think people are in such a vulnerable state um, when, you know, when they're going through issues like that. So they're just open to anything. And I, I think a lot of people take advantage of that. Um, I'm not interested in that. And um, I don't even think my uh, liability insurance covers something like <laughs> yeah. that. So, yeah, you know, that's, probably that's true. pretty important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if you did say it, there'd probably be someone coming knocking it anyway, saying, uh, no, you can't say that. Um, exactly. So, so origin story, not all the way back to 1918, because unfortunately we can't have the original interviewee here with us but um no it's, you know what we're just we're only a year and a half too late she lived a long time wow that's it wow. <laughs> you know a whole nother story but that's one of the reasons why i wish more people would do interviews and interview their families and kind of get that documented for their future generations because i'd love passing on stories from my families too but that's a that would be great for us to Absolutely. be able to document our, our past a little bit better. And again, no, whole nother, uh, whole nother podcast. But, um, so you, a year and a half you've been started. What, where did you get started? How did you find Equid? What was the, what was the, let's do this to your, with your husband. Let, let's make this a business. Well, I'm actually, um, six years in, um, I've had, uh, kiss five years been around for six years uh, well, actually, it'll be six years in May. And I had actually had Equit for a while, for I think longer than that. Um, I had 
I had another business. I have another business. I'm, I think I'm, I might be a serial entrepreneur, but <laughs> even better. I had another, right. I had another business and I found Equit some type of way. This might have been seven or eight years ago. And I logged on, I got an account, but then I decided to go a different direction with that business. Fast forward to Mother's Day last year. I needed to do some Mother's Day boxes and I'm I'm uh, I was with Square and I just used their web page. Okay. But their web page does not give options. So you can't do size options, you know, color out. There were no options. And I was like, I need options. And I was like, I have that Equit account. Let me go in there. Because I also, yeah, I was like, let me go in there and see what I can do. I uploaded the boxes. I did the options. It was very quick. It took me all of 10 minutes. Awesome. Upload pictures, options. It had a link. I was like, great. I took that link and I posted it on my Square webpage so that people could buy it from there. And it synced. It synced so easily. I was like, this is good. <laughs> and I was like, it's time. It really is time for me to um, upgrade. I had purchased um, another provider's account. Uh, I think they had like a Black Friday sale or something like that last year. And I went on and I was lost. I was like, I have no idea what to do. This is not user friendly. I even bought, I went to, I went to Barnes and Nobles. I bought a little WordPress for dummies. Obviously I'm a dummy. It didn't work. (laughs) I need it for idiots or something. I don't know. It just wasn't working. And I was like, I need something easier. And I was like, Equit. So I went, I um, I just took some pictures. Like everything was, it was perfect. It had everything that I, that I wanted. Um, the ability to create an app, the ability to put unlimited. Well, I have the, I got the highest tier. Mm-hmm. Um, products. So yeah, I could do anything. I can do any and everything. And um, there was help like right there, live chat help. So when it you worked. say you got the highest tier, you bought the, the unlimited, probably the, the unlimited. So, so you yeah, actually, unlimited. yes. So you do get more help than just live chat too. Oh, uh, oh, so look, did I, you, I, I should say my old, like I knew that, right? Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh, good. Yeah. So, and sometimes a lot of times, or a lot of times people go the unlimited plan because you get free developer hours too. So that way, if there's like this really crazy problem you can't solve and you know, you've talked to a bunch of people locally, they can probably solve it for you. So, so, so now we, now we feel a lot better about putting the, uh, live chat support team to the test because you actually, if, if you do put them fully to the test, you have development hours available to you as well. So they can pass it off and not feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've only used live chat because okay. it's, I mean, they respond right away. That's perfect. So yeah, what I like about this story is it's a lot like other people. You've tried a couple of things. You've, you've tried uh, different products. You've run into limitations. And then it sounds like this Equit account was it was probably a free account for like seven years because of your previous business and you came back to it and it's still there and you can, you know, do what you needed with it. So, um, so for all these people that used us seven years ago, come back, (laughs) we're still here. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Come back. And I'm glad that I, yeah, I'm glad I had it. I was like, this is it. This is, this was the solution that I needed. And it's been, it's been great. I need something easy. Yeah. Yeah. And and speaking of coming back, you, you mentioned a little earlier that it was going on for six years and you came in via Square. Uh, it was that because you were doing the offline events first and then brought it back to online. Is that was that the reason for that? No, I was always online and offline. Um, I, I Square was working, but again, it's very limited. All it is is just a web page. Yeah. I mean, you post a picture, you put a price and that's it. And did, um, at, th- at this stage of the game, I just needed a, f- a few more options. And, you know, and I'm in, of course, a few business groups and, you know, everyone talks about uh, some of the other the uh, other options out there. Quote unquote like said, other. I, I just, yeah, right, right. We know other who you're options. talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the other options out there. And um, yeah. like I said, I, I kind of fell into the hype. 
Sure. And I did buy one of those options and I should have just gotten my money back if I could have. I don't think they would have given it back to me. But I again, I pay for the option, but then I would have to pay somebody to actually build a site. So, nah, that didn't work for me. Yeah, you don't really need that much. And I think particularly when I look at your business, so we haven't really mentioned it. So there's a you have a web page that has your products and your story. But realistically, you don't live just there. You live on social media like you have some great social media profiles. And I think in some ways that might be more important for you than a even fancier website. What do you think? Absolutely. Yes. Um, what I've I talk about Equid. I've actually gotten a couple of um People that ask me, oh, what's your website? How do you like them? Who hosts it? I'm like, I love it. I have all of the options, all of them. I love the fact that it integrates with Facebook because I'm very, very active on Facebook. I run ads on Facebook um, every day. So I love the fact that I can tag my product and it's right there. I also have the store integrated um, on Facebook, which is phenomenal. And then Instagram now, course i can tag my products in instagram uh, and it goes straight to the equit store and everything is synced so oh, it's, that's that's it's awesome great. i want to dig in a little bit more to that because we get a lot of questions about people don't know how to start on facebook they don't know how to start on instagram you know walk us through a like what was your last post about just just walk us through the Oh, my last post was I'm going to I'm doing a podcast for Equit. (laughs) You know, what's funny about that is I want to just give a shout out. We looked real quick at your social media and everything. And it not only are you an amazing personality, but boy, you have some super fans like, wow, this is not just like a regular business. These these people are like it's like you have a hive literally right your own hive i'll just stick with the theme of the bees and uh like it's literally uh, like wow so just one quick thing before you go into that i want to yeah. say to you since you're a serial entrepreneur and you talk about it uh go ahead and you could sign up for an affiliate code too in it and you can make extra money from equid just passing this on to other people without having to do much and they don't have any additional costs they get the same great deal and you can make you know you don't have to do anything really. It's not like you got to start a whole new business, but you're like, Oh yeah, you want to get started? Here's my link. And maybe, uh, oh, sir, you think I have not? <laughs> no, of course I have. Okay. You know, I should have known now, creator. Right. Now, right. You should have cut him be, off. <laughs> exactly. No, cause I wanted him to let people know they need to know that you guys do have that, op- that option. And, and yeah, that is phenomenal. I don't know what other people are doing, but yeah, it's easy. Yeah. You just give them your link and boom, because if you're, they sign up, they sign up. Yeah. I mean, you're not only you're an inspiration with your business, but it sounds like you really believe in business in general and you're probably inspiring other people to do this. So we can, we covered that little spot there and go ahead. And so what was the response when you said you were doing a, doing a podcast? Oh, um, what? I guess some likes. Nice. <laughs> so, so I, I take it you'll be sharing the link to the podcast when it actually comes yeah, out too. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know what? I might even have like a bat signal in the sky, like check me out here. <laughs> I'm here. Yes, yes. No, I'm I'm super excited. Like this is my first time uh, doing a podcast. I actually just got into podcasts. I listen to them um, while I'm working. Of course, I'm into true crime. Oh, yeah. I'll be terrible, but I love it. So, sometimes um, you have to be entertained too. It's not all work. <laughs> I do. Um, so I'm like, this is my first time doing a podcast and I'm like so excited. And today is uh, International Women's Day. And the fact that you guys chose me for today, that's just yay. yay. Awesome. <laughs> that's great. That's great. So so you do shoppable posts now. And, and what yeah. was that experience for you as far as getting that set up and how easy was it? And- What's your what what's your experience so far with it? It's easy. If the if 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 anyone takes anything out of this entire podcast, all the only thing I want them to know is that it's easy. <laughs> Take that out. It's Perfect. easy. So I cannot I'm not good at and I have ADHD, probably like most creatives, so I'm all over the place. But it's easy. It says right there, it says, do you want to link the product? You click on it. It has a search button. 
You start typing in the name of the product. It pops up. You click it. Boom. It's there. Yeah. It takes two seconds. I know if, if I actually want to get the video of your of your screen on your phone doing it because people are thinking like, oh, my gosh, it's going to be so hard. But like, yeah, this is so simple. And the world lives on Instagram and Facebook. So, yes, you know, <laughs> why not have your products for sale that you can just tap and, and purchase? Yes. Yes. And and the other thing that I want to mention that I didn't get a chance to is that installing a pixel is you literally you get your pixel ID from Facebook and then you find I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure you guys know exactly where it is um, on the Equit side and you literally just paste it and you click done and boom, your pixels right there and you get all your analytics. Yeah. For retargeting and things like that. So, And yeah. how long did that take you, including if you had to go to live chat or had to go look at a tutorial? Like how long, beginning to end? Uh, it took me probably like one minute. <laughs> all right. I feel, like, I feel like that I gave you notes ahead of time to say I didn't. This is all, <laughs> all real You stuff. did not. <laughs> I pro- I'm not getting paid, guys. I pro- <laughs> no, no, literally. Like I, my pixel is easy for me to find on Facebook because, well, I run ads every day. So that, you know, I know how to do that. Yeah. Found my pixel, you copy it, and then you go right on Equit, you paste. It's done. I, I, that's awesome. And I want to dive into the making ads because this is a, um, you, you know, people just don't know where to start. So besides you did the one for the podcast, what is another ad that you've run? And by the way, I've seen your pictures. So this is a podcast. We can't take a, you know, this is, it's audio only everybody, but the pictures are awesome. All the product pictures. So talk. <laughs> Thank work, you. Yeah. Work, walk us through like, what, what do you do for a Facebook ad? What's a, what's a version that you think would be helpful um, for people starting? So a Facebook ad, I'm going to ex- tell you guys exactly what I do because um, I'm I'm more of a DIYer. Okay. And I make a lot of things. I make a lot of things and I need to be able to put them on the website very quickly. So I have a little stool that I got at Walmart for clearance for $3. It's <laughs> black and white. I said, oh, this is, this is cool. I'm going to use this. I have one spot in my backyard. It gets perfect light. I take a product. I put it right on that black and white (laughs) background. I snap the picture with my Note 8 from Samsung. I just use my phone. And then I instantly go to Equit and uh, I say new product. It says upload the picture. It takes it right from my gallery. And it's bam. So easy. I love it. I keep saying easy. Yeah. I'm like, but, but yeah. I know like people think uh, there's, they read, you know, there's a video on this for 10 minutes, but it really is that easy. So yeah, it, it, literally, it literally takes longer to go through the video than it does to actually do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You could do like, yeah, I'm pretty sure in that amount of time you could do like 20, you can upload 20 products. And so when you do these photos, so you do the photos for Facebook, what do you, um, you know, what, what's your, do you have like a personality on Facebook or is it different on Instagram? Like, what do you say? So you take this picture, it's got a product in there or what, you know, what next? Um, I take the picture. So I do try, I used to, I should say, I, I used to try to do something different on Instagram than what I did on Facebook. Um, but that requires me to think too much. (laughs) <laughs> so I decided I'm um, just cut that out. So I do have Instagram and Facebook and Twitter all linked. So when I post to Instagram, it automatically posts to Facebook and Twitter as well. Good idea. Um, yeah. I do find that Instagram is a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm doing air quotes to looser. You have a lot more fun on Instagram Facebook, my Facebook clients and my Twitter clients are a little bit more conservative. Okay. Yep. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's what I would do. I would just take a picture, I come up with some type of copy, and that's it. If I want to link the product, I will. Um, Instagram doesn't allow you to boost a post if it's linked. So I don't necessarily do it on Instagram. I have better success with ads on Facebook. Hmm. So, so if you 
link a product, meaning you use the product tag, it won't let you boost it? Maybe I'm getting that wrong. I might be getting that wrong. It's something that it doesn't allow me to do. But, you know, again, I don't, um, I've not really had much success with link, with um, Instagram ads. So I really don't run Instagram ads. I stick with Facebook. Okay. All right. So you have this, there's a picture, there's a saying, you take the product and then you boost it. Do you boost it to your people that are followers or do you, do you pick other audiences? I pick other audiences. What I love to do is do, um, I do a lookalike audience. Okay. Um, so I have the option of doing a lookalike from IG or a lookalike from Facebook. Um, I can also do people that have visited my website. And of course, it gets that info from the pixel that's embedded in my website. Um, or I sometimes I do friends and um, I'm sorry, um, followers, followers and, yeah. and friends of followers. OK. Oh, well, that's good. So and. Now, you've told us before, you're not a computer programmer here, but you, no. <laughs> you threw out a lot of big words there to some people, but it was sounds like it was pretty easy to figure that out, too. Yes, it was pretty easy to figure out, but also um, Facebook has the blueprint, which is phenomenal. It's a free, it's free education mm-hmm. for how to run ads, and um, they offered me a... a um, an ads manager. And I took advantage of that. I called them and they actually walked me through how to do, um, get more deeper into the uh, business manager side of Facebook. So it's, it's been helpful for me. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Take the free resources, right? Like they, yeah, I'm all about free. If it's, I'll, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all about free. Yeah. I think a lot of times people are scared about, scared about Facebook ads in particular, cause they're a little bit, um, to start out, it might seem a little overwhelming, but yeah, you can start. And once you spend a little bit of money, Facebook notices that and they start sending you emails and say, hey, would you like to meet with a specialist? And they will walk you through a bunch of things. And, and Google will do the same too. So like it's both, both are there to help you as long as you, as long as they, of course they want you to spend money, but um, of course, <laughs> <laughs> let's not kid ourselves. Like you do need to spend some money and you do need to you put do. in the work. Uh, and actually Blueprint also is awesome. Like I've, I've done a few of those courses. They're very in-depth. So, yeah, 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 and they're free. So, take yeah. advantage. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to do the work. So, it sounds like you're willing to put in the work. So, that's why everything's working out for you. So, yeah, I'm a I'm a control freak. And so, yeah, I just need to know exactly <laughs> what's happening. Yeah. Even I might not totally understand it, but at least just have some type of concept of what's going on. Oh, perfect. So you're you're selling on your website, you're selling on Instagram, you're selling on Facebook, you're selling on Twitter, you're selling at uh, offline, like at um, events and such. Um, yes. Are you also selling on, do you, uh, do you sell on Etsy? I am on Etsy. Uh-huh. Um, I only You're handmade, Etsy. so, right? Like, you're, yeah. you're perfect for yeah, that. I'm, yeah, I'm, a, I'm handmade. Um, I'm going to be honest. I I. I just got on Etsy only because uh, just for for SEO purposes so that it's another spot for people to find Kiss by B or if they're looking for something. Um, I definitely it only have like three products up there and they're very expensive, actually, in order to kind of boost posts yep. and boost your ad. And I did that. I did try it. I try. I think I spent probably maybe $150 and uh, I probably got maybe four orders or so during that time. So the numbers didn't quite measure up. Yeah. I stopped that. Okay. So (laughs) it's up there, but okay. Yeah. It's there. I don't, I don't really use it like that. Yeah. I, I think that's actually good advice to people. Like, yeah, you threw up an Etsy store, right. And gave it a little bit of a shot, but when, if it didn't work, you just left it there. So now if, people type in kiss by a bee there's another spot occupied on the google search results page so uh it is I and you it. guys of course equit ties with etsy so um 
Oh, I'm sorry, not Equit. We, is it Equit? We don't is do it? we don't do with Etsy. Um, I'm sorry, it's, it's a ship, little bit different. I'm thinking about ShipStation. Yeah, we my, do ShipStation. My, who I use for shipping, but okay. yeah, it's it's not something that yeah, it's not beneficial for me. Okay. It's just there. I can order every now and again. That's fine. Yep. Do you do um, so? Amazon's a bit of a beast. Do you, do you uh, work with Amazon at all? I have not worked with Amazon yet. Okay. I have. Uh, I'm thinking about it though. It's yeah, we, probably, um, we like the yet part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you, you're probably on the right track, but it is a little bit harder than the things you've done. So you know, like brace yourself. But but yeah, I think really? Yeah, that's personal okay. opinion. I mean, like if there's an Amazon person here, they might be tisk tisking me, but. Um, you know, yeah, I think there's just a few more rules to follow. Well, you're Amazon. you're probably doing it in the right order. I you, agree. You, you want to have your own website going up, polished, the way you're doing it. You, you're doing this in the right syntax for sure. Eventually, there's also probably nothing wrong with having the number one destination where people go look to buy things also, but you're doing it in the right order. You're right. And um, yeah, like I said, not yet. I have looked at it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, not yet. My brother-in-law actually works for Amazon. So maybe I should to help increase his stock prices. Yeah. Not that my little, <laughs> not that my little kids buy a big, a big, a big impact. But yeah, yeah. I, I, it is on my radar. Absolutely. Makes sense. Makes sense on that. And I would agree. How about Pinterest with, with all these good pictures? Are you, are you on Pinterest as well? Oh, Lord. No, I'm not. All and right. I'm, I'm not because I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a lot to keep up with. Somebody asked me that and I'm like, what? And they were like Snapchat and then something else. And I was like, it's only me. It's one of me. Yeah. No, I'm not on. I'm no, I'm not. But I know that I, I do actually have a kiss by V. Um, I did set it up. OK. And it's very old. I actually, thanks for the reminder. Appreciate yeah. you. Cause it has some very old pictures on there that I need to kind of update and spruce up a yeah. little bit. I think that's actually probably a good thing is, every, you know, like you know, you're not going to do it as much as Instagram and Facebook, but every few months, you know, spiff it up, throw some new photos on there. Um, there is some Pinterest just released the ability to sync a product catalog to it as well. Oh. So, oh. you know, a little pro tip there. Um, I, it's not it's not going to be super easy quite yet. That's coming later, but it is um, it, it's there. So if you can do a Google feed and you can, re, you know, get it down to a CSV, you can put it up in there. So, um, oh, that's not bad. OK, now, see, you a little said, bit of work, you, but you, it can you do said it. something that I know about, though. Oh, see, you know, I, CSVs. a little bit. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So, you know, be prepared for a little bit of uh, it's not going to just work like magic the first time, but it is there. And uh, so there's, there's more more to come there. I'm going to it's a little teaser for the future. But, um, but oh, yeah. great. If there's anybody out there that like does that have dollars, we'll pay. <laughs> yeah, hey, hint, hint, everybody. You know how to get a hold of Aquila. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, hooking Find up Pinterest, me. I think, is going to be a cool thing where um, it just got released last Friday. So, um, you know, hint, hint. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I won't okay. say any more. I, I don't want to get that. stuck on Pinterest, but I, I think it's a great platform for um, anybody that has, I think, in your market, good photos are important. So, so anyway. Yes. Yeah. I'm on it. Little, I'm on it. Well, tip there. Is there a um, you know any tips that you'd like to share with people? Like um, you know, there's a lot of people listening or probably in your shoes or you know trying to get to where you're at. Like, what type of advice can you give? Oh man, that's like <laughs> that's funny. Um, <laughs> that's really funny. I'm, I'm, as I as I told you guys before, I really just you know I wing it. <laughs> just throw it out there, do a Hail Mary and hope for the best. Um, I'm trying just like everyone else. Um, I have I I don't know anything about business. Uh, you know, I I absolutely don't. I'm winging it as I go. I'm learning just like everyone else. I, 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 my best advice is that if you have a business idea, if there's anybody that has a business idea right now and you just don't know where to start, my advice is just to start. Just do it. Get your Equit store, take some pictures and put it up. 
and then use Facebook to promote it all syncs and it's easy. That's remember, that's the takeaway for this whole podcast. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Just try. I really rely on friends and family and, um, because I don't have all the answers and I do not have a business degree and, uh, you know, I, I have people I can lean on, thankfully, that, you know, if I have a question, they're experts in X, Y, and Z. So that so I can ask them because I, I just, yeah, I'm trying just like everyone else. I'm just here. <laughs> no, that's great. I mean, it's it literally is as if we did talk or something prior to say like, oh, say is he? like that's what we're hoping that people get out of it is just get started, give it a shot, adjust accordingly, and just keep going through the loop, right? You'll learn something yes. new. You learn what doesn't work. It's okay. You don't bury the hatchet just because it, you know, it, it didn't work that time. You take another exactly. move and I, I love it. This is. And keep, yeah. And keep going. I mean, I, yeah, everybody thinks entrepreneurship is, um, you know, social media has people, they, they, you know, they hype it up. And they think that entrepreneurship is easy and it's, it's not, (laughs) it's like a, it's like a graph. (laughs) Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's way down. You know, if I don't get orders, uh, you know, it could be a couple of days and I don't get orders. I'm like, Oh my God, let me freshen up. Let me freshen up my resume. (laughs) Oh my job. Oh my God. What did I, what did I decide? Why did I do this? And then, you know, you have your good days. There's good days and bad days, but it's, it's hard work. It's a 24 hour job, but it's, uh, it's super rewarding. So. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, I think that's great advice. It's great encouragement for everybody listening. So in, in general, like, yeah, follow Akila here. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. don't follow me. I'm going to follow, I'm gonna follow whoever, whoever follows me. I'm going to follow you back. I need, you. I need some help from you. So, you know, don't, I'm, I'm going to lean on you as well. Um, you know, that's what entrepreneurship is about. Just connecting, networking, and helping each other. I mean, that's what that's what we should do as humans, just in life in general. I love it. If it literally, I'm bringing it back to the hive again. I mean, you're, that's what it sounds like. Your whole thing is for the collective good. <laughs> be the best you you can be, and yep. uh, there you go. So for before we say goodbye to you, what's the best place for people to follow you to get your products? Uh, best place to follow me is kissedbyabee.com. And uh, right now, when you go to kissedbyabee.com, it takes a second and then it goes to my Equit store. But trust me, by the time this broadcasts, you're just going to go to kissedbyabee.com. Love it. <laughs> and it's going <laughs> sh- to show. We're going to um, solve problems here. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. It's such a mystery. And um, on Facebook, um, Kiss by a Bee Organics. And on Twitter, I'm Kiss by a Bee Org. And on Instagram, somebody actually had Kiss by a Bee and Ooh. she does nothing with it, but that's okay. <laughs> on Instagram, I'm KBYAB. So K B Y A B. All right. And we're going to get that all in the show notes on the page. So awesome. Akila, loved having you on. Richard, this is awesome. Yeah, we, this is great. We can do more of these. Yeah, and definitely remember, listeners, if you are interested, please go to equid.com forward slash podcast. Go to the bottom of the page and fill out your form so we can spotlight you and all the good you're doing for the world. Awesome. Akila, thank you so much. Well, Rich, there's another great show. And when you add it all together with the other shows, you won't miss any strategies or new tactics on how to grow your online business. So to make sure you don't miss anything, subscribe on your favorite podcast player. Rich, what player do you like? Uh, Probably Stitcher. All right. How about you? I'm, I'm an Apple podcast guy. I'm an Apple guy on that. Yeah. And we're growing right now. A listener asked us to add Google Play as a platform. So we just added that a couple of weeks ago. We have Spotify, SoundCloud. Nice. We're everywhere. So subscribe on your favorite platform and don't forget to rate and review us. So we know what you think. 
yeah, rate how we're doing, review on what we have done, tell us topics you'd like us to cover, uh, tell us if you think we're great and you uh, are going to take over the world. Subscribe, rate, and review. It's the only way we'll know, and it keeps the shows coming. Thanks, everybody.